Welcome to the lecture for the territories in Canada. The first one we're going to address is the Northwest Territories. Some facts about NT. Population of more than 43,000 people. The capital city is Yellowknife. The Northwest Territories geological resources include coal, diamonds, natural gas, and petroleum. The Northwest Territory has the highest per capita GDP of all provinces of territories in Canada, with an average of 76,000 in 2009. During the winter, many international visitors go to Yellowknife to watch the auroras boreals. The job market. Tourism industry was just over 100 million per year. It has one of the lowest unemployment rate in Canada. Yellowknife is the diamond capital of North America. Skilled diamond artisans are in high demand. So if you work as an artist in your home country in diamond, you're going to have for sure high demand in this territory. And another interesting part is the hydroelectric power. The NT main cities are as follow for Simpson, Norman Walls, Inuvik, Hay River, and Fort Smith. Now let's take a look at some recommended online resources. Basically, the website of the territory have information about current openings and how to apply and human resources. You can join the community and you can search for jobs in that website. Also, if you speak French, you can find the La Federación Franco de Noas with information about publications, job opportunities, and all you need to do to serve as a French speaking person in that territory. They also have a college, Aurora College, if you're looking to study in the territory, and that way open your opportunity for settlement in the territory. Yukon Territory. Another of the territories in the group of this lecture, the Yukon. Let's find out some facts about the Yukon. The population is more than 31,000 people. Capital city is Whitehorse. Yukon's unemployment rate is 5.6%. The Yukon's economy is based on mining, tourism, and hydroelectricity. The job market, tourism, mining, hydropower, very similar to the other territories. Main cities in the Yukon, Whitehorse, Dawson City, Watson Lake, and Haines Junction. Now the recommended online resources for the Yukons are the uwingwebs.ca website where you find information, resources, and calendar and events, and also they have a choice for French-speaking people and information for job seekers and employers. You can find a video about the Yukon and try to promote the Yukon as a place to live. And this also territory is getting a lot of demand and is very popular, especially for the mining and tourism tourism operations. Nunavut. Nunavut is another territories in Canada. Let's check some facts about Nunavut. Nunavut population of more than 31,000 people. The capital city is Iqaluit. Most of the Nunavut population is Inuit, so it's part of the indigenous Aboriginal population. The unemployment rate for non-Aboriginal people is closer to 5%, so it's very low unemployment rate for foreigners, um, non-Aboriginal people. For Aboriginal people, it will be higher in this case. Which industries make up Nunavut's economy? So public administration is the biggest. They have utilities. Mining and oils and gas extraction is probably the second employer in the territory, followed by construction and real estate. 
and they have some operations in wholesale and retail trade and transportation. The main cities in Nunavut are, as you can see here, it's only one city, equal it with 3,552 based on the census of the 1991 and I have increased to 7,740. But we can see here how in several decades the, the, it has doubled in size, which means the trend is going to continue not only with the main city but also with other smaller villages and population concentration. So it's a territory that will continue to grow in the near future. Recommended online resources, you can find actually the Careful Nunavut, that is an immigration uh, services for immigrants, and have information about immigration and services for immigrants. Highly recommended, and the link are included in the lecture. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. For more information, just check the links and the resources, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.